Hi, I'm Selby Drummond from Vogue, and you are watching the season finale of All Things Fashion Fund. So tonight is our live Google Plus Hangout for the Ovation original series, The Fashion Fund. The season finale was tonight, and this is our last Google Plus Hangout. So let me introduce our guests for tonight. I am joined by Kate and Laura of Rodarte, who are actually sitting with Jen Meyer. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi! You guys are all joining from LA, but then here in New York we have Dowie Chow and Maxwell Osborne from Public School. Hey guys. Hi, welcome. Welcome to New Cheers. York. So I am very happy you could join us all tonight at 11 o'clock um, okay. after what was the season finale which aired at 10 o'clock and in that we just saw you win the Fashion Fund, Dowie and Maxwell. So what do you guys remember of that night from when it happened which was a couple months ago. Hold on, Selby. We, we, we won? You won. <laughs> you won. You can no come way. out of your sequester. We can tell the public. <laughs> oh, oh yes. my god. Okay. We won. Yes. You yeah. won. Your trophy is coming. When did you get your, your trophy, Laura and Kate? You guys won in 2006. Was that, how long did it take you to get your trophy? Mm, I think we got our trophy a year and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> no way. We yeah. were wondering when we were going to get our swan. You're not going to get like, yours. You'll get like your official confirmation, Dowie and Maxwell, in like 2020. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait. We built a whole bookcase to house it in. There's no books on it, but we're just waiting for the swan. Keep it, keep it. You did win. You did win. Yes. Okay. What do you guys, what was winning like? Did you expect to win? What was that night like? I didn't expect to win. It was a blur on our end, uh, and at least on my end it was a blur. Yeah, we, we totally didn't expect to win and um, we didn't eat at all and... Not one morsel. Right. We, the whole um, time during the fund you didn't eat for, for four I months? Didn't I, I, we didn't eat oh, for the four months, yeah. Oh yeah, the four months. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the dinner, but no, the whole four months. We had to squeeze, I had to squeeze into my dress and I just want to make sure, <laughs> at the very least, I looked skinny that night. <laughs> Not that that's skinny, important. But... You look skinny. I think we saw it on the show. You look very thin. Oh, um, and Laura and Kate, do you guys remember winning? I know it was 2006, but do you remember what <laughs> that night was like for you? Um, I feel like I, I, remem I remember going up on stage. I remember Mark Jacobs had given an amazing speech that night, right? Yes. And then Kate talked the whole time because I don't like to talk in public. Um, oh yeah, I remember thinking. Actually, I was kind of um, we when they said our name, I was really kind of so shocked, but also really um, really overwhelmed with nervous energy. And as soon as we got up there, I just had this overwhelming kind of just disbelief, knowing that my sister would not say one word. So I was going to get <laughs> stuck, <laughs> even though I was, you know, like so. I mean, I really was kind of just so, I think, surprised. I had no idea what to say, but I just kept looking at her, and I was like, I know she won't say anything. And to this day, like, if we ever do any public speaking, she just looks at me, and I'm like, I know I'm, I'm going to be the one that talks. <laughs> so, it's She's true. useless. You should have gotten uh, rid of her. But that's the first time I found that out, because we had never had oh, yeah, really get in front of people. Or we had never won anything, done anything like that. So I didn't know that about her until that moment. Oh, wait. Yeah. No. Well, you did. she did give a valedictorian speech, but... Yeah, but also your when you guys did it, the the show that we saw in the Ovation episode, which takes place at um, the Chateau Marmont in LA, mm -hmm. when you guys did it, it was not there. It was like in a very weird location, many hours. Well, it was Pebble Beach, right? Yeah, we went up to Northern California outside of Monterey and went to a big car show uh, and did a, a fashion show in front of seven thousand people. <laughs> Which was totally terrifying, but also it's weird because we're from that area. Yeah. Um, we didn't grow up in Carmel, but we grew up in Santa Cruz, which is close. And so it's kind of like, it was just so strange because it felt like we were going back to this place we knew. But at, at the same time, it was so, the fact that there was like 7,000 people there and cars. And I just remember just. Were they car Were they car people or were they fashion people? Well, they oh, were, they were like car a, people. It was, no, it was a, a big car, car show. show. Yeah, a big car show. And it was on the. The, the golf course, and so, then they made us walk down the, the, the <laughs> yeah. The oh yeah, we had to walk the whole it. Way. It was like my that worst was night. not like the celebrity studded fashion. Well, show. When no. we, the first one we saw when we went to see when um, Jen was doing it, we went to the chateau, and I remember thinking like, because I hadn't been to one there, and I just was so like, oh, I couldn't believe how amazing <laughs> it looked. It was just so incredible, and so you know, I guess living in LA, it just was, and to me like. 
the coolest fashion show I'd been to in LA. It was really amazing. Jen, do you remember that night, or do you remember the night that you um, that you won and and had to give a speech? Did you give a speech, or did you just keel over of nervousness? I think I gave a speech. I'm not quite sure. Um, I re I really, I mean, really being in that top ten, you feel like you won. So I really did not think there was any way ever I was getting in that top three. And I remember them calling my name, and I kind of looked at my husband and took a beat going like, what just happened? Did they call my name? And I think he sort of looked at me and was like, go. They called your name. <laughs> like, move. I was like, oh, God. And I do not remember my speech. I remember sort of looking out at a sea of people, and I remember mentioning my grandma because she's sort of the reason I did all of this. But um, it was, it's, you know, it's sort of a nerve-wracking moment. I mean, an amazing moment, but you're, I was nervous. And really, even more nervous is I, the, the, the girls are talking about walking when at the fashion show, and I was so great in the fashion fund, and everything was, I loved it, and I was all pumped up, and then they said at the chateau, okay, so you're going to walk with your model. And I was like, I'm, I'm going to what? They're like, you're going to walk with the model. And at that point, I sort of blacked out, and one of the girls from Vogue came up to me and said, are you okay? I said, I don't think so. I don't I don't think I can walk. And they were like, well, it's not an option. I was like, all right, <laughs> let's go. Um, there's a lot of that that happens in the fashion fund. It's not an option. You just got yeah. to go. Yeah. But they say it with a smile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you guys smile. Everybody's a very good sport. So speaking of good sports, we actually have user-submitted, viewer-submitted questions for the evening. So people who are fans of the Fashion Fund and you guys um, have sent in some questions. And we picked a couple. And I thought they were, I thought they were really, really interesting. So we have one from at DBDJ1007. I unfortunately don't know who this person is, but you have a good handle. <laughs> Um, and the question is, how long did the prize money last for you, and where did it go? Because I think that's really so. Dowie and Maxwell, you guys won in November three hundred thousand dollars. So that is the grand prize. That's what you're going for. Did that? I mean, is that gone? Do you have any of the money left? Is that going to take you? You know, have you made it now? You you can rest easy. What What does that mean to you guys? Was business? there prize money? <laughs> well, <after. laughs> you got in the check. <laughs> after we bought the. After we bought our studio in Paris, and then um, oh, but the boat, and then the boat. <laughs> we bought a boat. It's at the south. It's actually at the shore. It's there was a couple of. I think there was like twenty dollars left, and then we went. We went to eat. Um, McDonald's. McDonald's. No, but you guys. So you're retired. You're now retired designer. We're retired. Right. Ago and, you're, and you're like, good. We won. It's the pinnacle. No, we we. I mean, we've actually been super, sort of protective of the money. It's like. We don't even want to spend any of it. <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we it went to, to, to hire some key staffing in production and design that we sorely needed, but we've been really counting every single penny of it. Um, but for us, I think the, the, the real value has been the mentorship um, by far. And th that's sort of more important to us than any amount of money. Um, it's just, you know, having the support and the confidence of sort of this tight-knit group of Industry leaders and successful people that. Um, so you're, kind of, you're hoarders. We're hoarders. Yes, we're yeah. hoarding. We're, we're hoarding yeah. it. Yeah. Okay, and 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 Kate and Laura and Je I kind of want to ask all of you guys this. Um, we got this question from at Only Metria, um, and the question is, what is the basic rule of the fashion industry? Like, I I don't know. I have no idea what you guys are going to say, so I'm curious to hear how you interpret that. Well, we Kate and I were saying that. I think that the basic rule is that you just, there are no rules, you break every rule, and that's how you create a voice for yourself and how hopefully people want to pay attention to what you're doing. That's a good answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, was, that was our answer, even though they didn't ask you that <laughs> So we can skip you guys. So Jen, what about you? What is your basic rule of the fashion industry? I have to say, um, before... <laughs> Before being in the fashion fund and living in Los Angeles, I really didn't have a fashion world that I was a part of. And I was a little nervous because you there's a lot of stereotypes. And I have to say that I would say 
what I experience, and especially from Vogue and from Anna Winter and you know all you amazing Vogue ladies over there, and <laughs> and really Kate and Laura too, and is really be kind and be nice to everyone because it really is some of the most supportive people that I've ever met in my life and everybody really wanting everyone to succeed. That's really beautiful. I'm a, that's that's really nice. Shelby, <laughs> <laughs> are you going to cry? I might <laughs> cry. My she next is question. crying. That's real. Yeah, that's that's my next question. <laughs> this is from mm -hmm. at Rebecca Marin, and it's specifically directed towards you, Rodarte ladies. Um, how important is it for you guys to have celebrity? You have a lot of celebrity friends and very visible friends, and is that does that drive your business? Is that, is that something you try to do, or is that like you know, celebrities just wear your clothes and it's no big deal for you. Oh, <laughs> nice! Yeah. yeah, I like what you're on. We can also ask this question to Ms. Jen Meyer. Oh, wait, that's so cool. It looks very good. small. <laughs> um, I thought you were going to wear a jacket. I like this. I like change. it. I like Me it. Well, you're a celebrity now that you're hosting all these Google Hangouts <laughs> and you just boosted our careers a lot. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll buy you know. a jersey for us. Yeah. <laughs> I'll buy you. Yeah, can um, you get a jersey? Well, yeah. let's see. Okay, well, Mac, yeah. let's let's go. We have another question for you, Max and Dowie. What are you guys, do you remember how you celebrated winning the fashion fund? I mean, I know you, you seem to not remember very much about actually accepting it, but what did you do later that night to celebrate and commemorate that evening? We, we, like, Randomly text a bunch of our friends, all eight of them, to Randomly. meet us at Soul House uh, for some drinks, um, and we chilled there for a bit with some friends and just kind of like held down the roof and enjoyed we some good times. What? <laughs> it's Gabby's birthday today. It's a birthday cake. Happy birthday! Happy birthday. Wow. Okay, this is. By the way, the 18th cake. That's I know. <laughs> Did they get all 30? I know. You have to wait. There's a lot of candles on here. I want to make sure. Well, this is too many candles. <laughs> no, you're 21. One, two, three. This should Plus just be 17. 19. No, no. This should just be 17, two. It's, it's, it okay. marks oh, the 17. number of cakes you've received today. If anybody who's watching <laughs> looks at Dowie's Instagram feed, this is like, we had this planned a couple days ago, and he got about 13 surprise cakes today, so this is Oh like, my god, like, thank you so much. So happy birthday to thank you. Thank you guys, thank you. Help me blow this blow one out. Blow out the candles. Everyone blow this out, one, two, three. I was just joking. Yay. Thank you guys. We're going to save uh, this for later. Yeah, so, <laughs> you can cut it and eat it. Um, <laughs> So I want to know what is in the is in the cards for everybody for the future. Is there anything really exciting you guys have planned coming up for you, Max and Dowie? You just did women's wear, so everybody loved your women's wear. So like we're all waiting for the next big. There's never um, enough. You need to keep coming out with new news. New news. Yeah, um. we will announce that soon enough. Next is Americans in Paris for the CFDA in Vogue. So we'll see you guys in two days in Paris. Cool. We're excited about that. Yeah, totally excited. But but um, you know, women's is such a new thing for us. And uh, before, when we were just doing men's, we had some time to just relax and chill for a sec. But now, <laughs> none at all. So it's just a constant. You, the calendar just is constantly moving. Um, but I think eventually, I like. Our own retail shops someday would be great, and um, world domination. That's world what domination, domination. Yes, absolutely. Or at least New York and U.S. domination first. <laughs> do you guys, Jen and Laura and Kate, do you guys have any downtime to yourselves, or now you you are wildly successful and you've had to give away your your freedom and your personal lives? No, yes, we have to have we our Netflix on demand would prove yes. how much down, down how much downtime we have. <laughs> You're in LA. It's like a different life. I know it's such a different. It's a very different life. Now. My I think my downtime is honestly in my car driving, which I cherish oh, yeah. those moments because I that get home and I have a 
I have a very cute four-year-old and a seven-year-old who are like, let's do whatever we're going to do. And I'm like, okay, let's go. So I think it's all about finding the balance. All right. Well, thank you guys all for joining us so much. Congratulations on all of your past and future successes to come. Um, and thanks to everybody who tuned in at home. Um, we hope you enjoyed the season of the Fashion Fund on Ovation, and we hope you enjoyed the Google Plus Hangouts, and we'll see you for the next class of Fashion Funders.